So today we're in New Canaan, Connecticut. I'm here in front of the New Canaan Library, just rebuilt a few years ago, 42,000 square feet. This is a mid-century modern homage. If you don't know much about New Canaan, Connecticut, it's famous for its mid-century moderns. Because you may have heard of the Glass House. The Harvard Five have many properties that have been built here in New Canaan. I do want to go inside and see if we can get a better look. It took 10 years from planning to completion of the new library, but they did manage to keep a portion of the 1913 original New Canaan Library on the western part of the property. They actually moved that building over there when they were finished with construction. Really, really nice to see that. My name is Mark Pyers. I'm a realtor with Coldwell Banker, and I have a show called Discover Connecticut. And I basically go around all the towns and I showcase details, features, family features, talk about the real estate market. And so I've been doing this for a little while in all the different towns. And today I picked New Canaan Library. And oh, okay. <laughs> I shot some outside. I didn't know if there was anywhere I can just maybe grab a little footage or if there's anybody who would want to talk about the library or anything like that. Uh, well, I'm going to call, uh, what's your name again? Mark Pyers. Mark Pyers. And you're with real estate? I'm with Coldwell Baker. I, was a, I, I grew up in New Canaan. Yeah. Okay. I went to New Canaan High School. And, Okay. Hey, how are you? Yeah, what's going on? How are you doing? Nothing. How, how are, are you? What's new? Same old, same old. Yeah? How's How Teddy Ballgame? He's Teddy. <laughs> He's Teddy. He's Teddy. How are you? What are you doing? Doing a podcast? Anyway, I started a show called Discover Connecticut. I'm just going town to town, trying to talk about the market, see if I can find new clients. <laughs> you know? Yeah. So. You gotta do what you gotta do, right? Yeah. Exactly. So. Oh, awesome. Sounds yeah. great. Yeah. This will be oh, a little piece of content for me. Yeah, yeah, right? <laughs> well, tell Ted I said hello. I will definitely we'll have to catch up take soon. Take care, Mark. Yeah. yeah. Take care, all right? This is an art exhibit, which is very nice. <laughs> Terrence York Semaphore. A journey through Parkinson's. Summers 4 examines the shift in my perspective after being diagnosed with Parkinson's disease nine years ago. Through images, I consider what it means to integrate this life-altering information into sense of self. What does acceptance look like? Wow. This is beautiful. Hi. Hi, Allie. Mark Pyers. Nice to meet you. How you doing? I just actually was really curious. I do a show called Discover Connecticut, and I go all over the lower Fairfield County. I meet people along the way. I think I've seen some of it, actually. Maybe. I'm, I'm everywhere, you know, but I'm trying to be, at least. Um, so it's really, like, impromptu. I just run into people, and they tell me what they love about the town. And I uh, grew up in New Canaan, so I remember when this process was going on. Oh, yeah, it was an extensive one. Yeah, and I, was, I work across the street at Coldwell Banker during that, and I remember there was a lot of backlash from the town, but it got done, and I think it's beautiful. I also think the fact that they kept the 1913 building and brought it to the side is like, it's amazing. It was really intentional, you know, in the end, the compromise um, that we had Stimson Architects do the outside, and they're, they're pretty well known, and um, part of the decision to move it in that manner was actually to affect the acoustic and the sound. Oh, wow. Actually, we were voted second um, like favorite place to hang out by Saks Middle School. In we the only town. lost to Starbucks. Wow. We're really proud of that. We, we you see that? Dunkin Donuts. Like for me, it's, can we find a really cool family yeah. activity on every episode? Well, it's awesome. Yeah, absolutely. It was a pleasure to speak with you too. Yeah, thank you so much. I'll be real quick. Oh, they even have a little coffee shop here guys this I have to show you coffee shop that's pretty cool right there look at this so you see this is just one of the areas they call the living room Absolutely stunning. Everything done to perfection. Let's keep going. There you go. Awesome. Thank you so much. I'll be real quick too. Thank you. 
So we end out our tour at the New Canaan Library here at the rooftop terrace above everything in New Canaan, Connecticut. So let's talk about the real estate market real quick. What's happening in New Canaan? There are currently 62 houses on the market. There is one that's coming soon. We had five trades in the last seven days, and there are currently 26 homes that are ready to close. So activity is continuing to remain strong here in New Canaan. If you do have a property you wanna sell, make sure you reach out to me. We can discuss how you could sell it quickly for the most amount of money. Also, if you're interested as a buyer and you wanna know what's out there, I could set you up with auto emails so you get a notification every time there's a new listing or a price reduction in the towns that you are interested in. Make sure you reach out and let me know where you wanna see me next on Discover Connecticut. Until then, it's Mark Pyers with Coldwell Banker.